Joining me right now is New Jersey Congressman, House Homeland Security Committee member Jeff Van Drew. Congressman, it's good to see you. Thanks very much for being here. What does all of this mean for the homeland? Tell me how you're approaching this from the House Homeland Security Committee. Well, it's important from the, the view of the homeland, obviously, because anything that, you know, Russia may do there will have consequences here. In other words, there is no, you know, uh, uh, thought that we wouldn't have a cyber attack here. We certainly could. There's no thought that Russia couldn't do other types of activities that are dangerous and worrisome in the United States of America. So I'm real concerned about it. Homeland Security is concerned about it. And we have to really keep a good eye on them. And we have to portray strength. As I keep saying over and over again, um, the way to deal with Russia is not through weakness, not through fear, not through leading from behind, which is so much of what's been going on. We have to be strong. We have to be concise. We have to be powerful. And God help them. And it has to be said this way if they do anything to the United States of America. Yeah, I mean, look, I, at this point, this approach has been a slow approach, and a lot of people feel that there's this, you know, feeling of uh, Ukraine is inevitable to fall, but it's not falling. Uh, they are fighting back hard. Uh, but I want to get your take on the U.S. southern border, because I know this has been a focus in your committee. Texas Congressman Tony Gonzalez tweeted these images yesterday of adult migrants that he says were being released into the interior of the country by Border Patrol, Congressman. Um, he said it was due to overcapacity. Facilities uh, are, are uh, you know, unable to handle this. As the Biden administration has said, it's considering ending Title 42 as early as next month, Congressman. What do you think the impact of the administration ending Title 42 will be? It's going to take a terrible situation and make it even worse. I mean, it was used not only by President Trump, but it has been used by President Biden. But he is so trying to appeal to the ultra left, to the ultra progressive parts of his party that he doesn't even care what happens to the country. We have 400,000 alone undocumented illegal. We don't even know where they are or what they're doing. We're spreading them all over the country, the ones that we do know, and literally in the middle of the night when people don't even know what's going on. Uh, our America you know, the people who live here obviously should be aware of what is happening and what's going on. Uh, Fifty percent, at least over 50 percent of those that we have encountered, we have sent back immediately, thank God. And it's still been a, her a terrible human disaster. And now we wouldn't even be doing that. They just want to open the borders, the president and others and yeah. the Democrats more and more yeah. and more. I don't know what their goal is other than to completely change the United States of America. No country, Maria, whether it's Mexico, whether it's any other country, third world countries have borders for us not to have an intact, strong wow. border, by the way, with a wall is insane. It's crazy land. Yeah. Well, I, you know what else is insane? The fact that Fox and Fox Business are the only ones on television talking about this. I mean, it's, it's pretty extraordinary it's, that there's only a handful of us that are actually reporting on the border, uh, along with Fox, uh, Washington Examiner, uh, you know, uh, Breitbart, uh, Fox Business. Uh, you don't see it anywhere, Congressman. I'm with Steve Forbes it, it this should, morning. Should, Jump in it, here, Steve. It, it's extraordinary. Go ahead, Congressman. Go yeah, ahead. Go ahead. It, 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 it literally should scare folks. I mean, it's one of so many different problems we have now. And one yeah. of the problems is that we are truly don't get the information. The people don't. Americans yeah. don't. And they know it. I was speaking to people last night. Yeah. Everybody's looking everywhere online. They read my newsletter. They're trying to find out yeah. where they can find the truth. Imagine an America where you don't, through the media, even get the truth. Yeah. It's unbelievable. We are it's at a quite extraordinary. in our history. Yeah. yeah. Steve, go ahead. Uh, Congressman, I wanted to ask you, uh, talking about the upcoming elections, uh, fortunately it looks like your <clears> district <throat> is going to be a little uh, stronger for you, but what do you think the impact is going to be on the Democrats doing this $300 a month rebate for gasoline and uh, gimmicks like that? Is that going to work? 
I don't think at the end of the day it is going to work. I think they're trying to buy the election. They're trying to do anything that they can. I mean, because at the same time they're doing that, let's talk about New Jersey for a second. Our governor is, you know, releasing prisoners, is releasing violent offenders on a regular basis, hundreds and hundreds, thousands, actually. And people know that our jails are being emptied out and it's like a revolving door. We put them in jail. We let them right out. So we, when you have the increase in crime, when you have the inflation rate, when you have the problems that we have with, you know, goods and services and we have the problems that we have at the border, because people still know it's going on, even though they try to hide it as well well as, you know, yeah. energy problems where we were number one, where we were on the, you know, somebody asked me the other day at a meeting, they said, can we ever be energy independent? We were energy independent. We can be energy yeah, independent. Sure. And we are literally destroying ourselves as a nation. You know, if I didn't know better, I know this is going to sound strange, but if I didn't know better, I would literally believe that there was almost a conspiracy to hurt and destroy America. That's how bad this stuff is. I don't think 300 bucks wow. is going to do it. Congressman, it's a, it's a sad day for sure. And it's a dangerous moment in time for sure. Congressman, thanks very much for being here this morning. We'll keep checking back with you for sure. Congressman Jeff Van Drew in New Jersey this morning. We'll be right back.